career was blooming, their lives weren't. Mama Michelle Phillips has chronicled their career in her new book, California Dreamin'. Good morning. Good morning. Jim. I ask you when you sat down from the first hit, California Dreamin', to the last. How long? Three years. Three years. An amazing three years. <laughs> you then had to have lived a very fast life to have made the impression you did in just three short years. It was just a lot of recording, <laughs> just a lot of work. Well, a lot, of other into stuff, that period. a lot of other stuff, too, which is why both you and your ex-husband, John Phillips, can write books about the story. Is it a coincidence that the two of you have written books that come out virtually simultaneously? Well, I had agreed uh, with John and Denny to write the book, and uh, in the middle of it, I found out that he had made another deal, so <laughs> uh, I was a little upset about it at first, but really, I think they kind of complement each other. In what way? Uh, well... I can talk about the sex, and he can talk about the drugs. <laughs> Real? Okay. Well, let's talk about his drugs then. What did you no, leave out? Of your, what did you leave out of your book? Well, uh, nothing. Actually, my book ends at the end of the Mamas and the Papas, and his drug problem started after that. So I didn't feel any need to get into that because I wasn't writing about that. That wasn't part of my story. So what's the story about the sex? Oh, you know, that's endless. That, that's just your your life. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, no, I just. Uh, uh, I just don't like to get into John's uh, drug problems because it's it's not really a part of my book. Well, let's uh, maybe leave the personal behind and talk about the general. What was it about the era that, that your group after three years and, and, and others and other individuals self-destructed? I don't know how that happens, but uh, some people do self-destruct. Uh, I... I guess I was in, in the middle of it as much as anybody else was, but uh, if you have uh, a reason, you know, to, to continue your career or to, um, I just wasn't, uh, that just wasn't my life. I have children and I have a career and uh, I had other things that were very, very important to me in my life. But what about the, that overlay of, of peace and love and, and harmony? Was that I'm a still facade? a hippie. You are. <laughs> I'm still a hippie at heart. I, I, uh... I don't buy war toys <laughs> for my children or anybody else's. I, um, I am a peacenik, and I would support uh, that. And uh, I, I don't feel like I lost that part of me when the 60s ended. Well, it's part of my life, and it's part of my personality. How are you as a, as a mother? You have uh, um, a daughter who's, who's virtually grown now. She's uh, China Phillips, is 18, and I have a four-year-old son. Well, how, did, how did you raise her? Does she, did she know everything in the book before you wrote it? Or <laughs> did you protect her from the truth? No, uh, the book is lying around the house and so is her father's and she's chosen not to read either one of them until uh, uh, until things cool down a bit. I think she feels that there might be things in the book that will upset her. Might she um, be right? Not in my book, but there will be things in her father's book that will be upsetting to her. Yeah. But um, uh, I... I think that when she finally does read them, that she'll uh, really appreciate the era and, the, you know, the, the, the people her parents were. You made the comment, uh, actually, a, a couple years ago, but it, I think it's worth going back to. You, you said that you were still very rich, very thin, and very popular. As one of our guys said as you walked in, she's spectacular looking. Very true. Very rich. Did you mind your money well? Uh, I've, I managed to mind it pretty well, and amazingly... After 19 years, uh, royalties are actually bigger today than they were 15 years ago. It's, 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 uh, there's been an enormous resurgence of interest in uh, 60s uh, music. And uh, all you have to do is ask MCA Records, you know, like... Uh, and we, we checked out in, in sales the other day. Monday, Monday had sold 60,000 copies in Tokyo alone last year. I mean, in Tokyo. <laughs> uh, I don't know who goes out and buys it, but, but while we're on the subject, yeah. this is the record you, <laughs> you listen to while you're reading the book. I mean, I want you to have the full experience. Okay, and this before is the I let you go, and what do you get off that? Album. A nickel, a dime, a quarter, or what? What's, what's your... Well, percentage. I have a little private deal. No, I'm okay. yeah. I have no idea what my royalties are on something easy like that. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Phillips, thank you. Thank you, Jane. And good luck to you. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment after.